Sisters ebook. Fire-breathing monsters not only live on Earth, our telescopes and satellites have found them on other planets. But where did they come from? These volcanoes that existed even before the dinosaurs? Where do they get their power? Which is so great that Earth people long ago believed that gods lived inside them. Olympic Mons, a volcano on Mars, is 14 miles tall and 379 miles across, three times bigger than Mount Everest. It's the biggest volcano in the solar system. Mars! What is a volcano? It is basically an opening in the ground from which gas, ash, and liquid rock called magma escape from deep within the earth. Often the material coming from the opening builds a mountain over time. Inside a volcano, crater, vent, magma conduit, cone, lava, magma chamber. What causes volcanoes? First, think about the ground beneath your feet. Is it just solid dirt and rock? Yes, but only so far down. The dirt and rock are called the Earth's crust. Below that is a layer of magma, molten rock and gases, called the Earth's mantle. This layer is very, very deep, deeper than the deepest well. Crust. Mantle. Earth's crust is 15 to 100 miles thick, but the mantle is hundreds of times that thick. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. The crust is a bit like the cracked ice on a thawing pond. The chunks of ice float close together on the water. In the same way, the Earth's crust is broken up into huge pieces, called plates, that float on the magma. Where are volcanoes found? Volcanoes are found all over the world, both on the land and under the sea. But more than half of Earth's volcanoes are found in a big circle along the shores of the Pacific Ocean called the Ring of Fire. This ring lies along the edges of the plates, the places the magma can most easily get through. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is an enormous group of volcanic mountains running under the Atlantic Ocean for thousands of miles. It is the largest mountain range on Earth. Ring of Fire Some volcanoes, however, also form in areas called hot spots. These are spaces in the middle of plates where the crust is so thin that the magma melts through. What is an eruption? It's the release of magma, rocks, or gases through the volcano's vent. Sometimes the magma is blasted out. Sometimes it just oozes out through a surface crack, like toothpaste from a tube. Magma that comes out of a volcano is called lava. It may be as runny as maple syrup or as slow and thick, thick as liquid tar. It is always red hot, with temperatures as high as 2012 degrees Fahrenheit. Invisible gases that escape during an eruption can poison plants and animals. Sometimes the magma is shot out of a volcano in pieces. Big lava chunks are called bombs. They can be as large as four feet across. Tiny, tiny lava pieces are called ash. They rain down around the volcano. What causes an eruption? The magma is lighter than the Earth's crust above it. Like a cork underwater, it is always struggling to rise to the surface. When it finds an opening, it starts moving up. As it rises, the bubbles inside of it cause it to overflow out of the Earth. In the same way that warm soda pop sometimes bubbles out of a just open can. Kinds of eruptions. Most violent. Plinian. Volcanian. Least violent. Strombolian. Hawaiian. 
Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii had the longest eruption of any volcano in the 20th century. 17 years. Volcano Types Scientists have classified over 25 kinds of volcanoes, but there are three, three main types. Paracutan began in a farmer's field in Mexico in 1943 and grew over 500 feet high in six days. Cindacone volcanoes are created by cinders, or small pieces of stone and ash that fall during eruptions. Over time, the cinders build up into a cone shape. Volcanoes that have erupted at some time in recorded history are called active. Mexico. Shield volcanoes are created when thin lava flows quickly and evenly out of a hole in all directions. As the lava builds up and cools, it begins to form a dome with gently sloping sides. The Hawaiian Islands are shield volcanoes. Hawaii. Mauna Kea in Hawaii is the world's tallest volcano. From its base on the seafloor to its peak, it is 33,476 feet high. Composite volcanoes are created by a combination of lava flow and a buildup of other material shot out of the vent. The lava from these volcanoes is usually thicker than, than what comes out of shield volcanoes. Most volcanoes on Earth are composite volcanoes. Philippines. Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines erupted in 1991 after being dormant for 600 years. It produced huge amounts of ash. What happened on August 24th, 79 AD? A composite volcano named Mount Vesuvius erupted in southern Italy. Burning ash, rocks, and gas quickly buried a small town called Pompeii. People tried to run, but they were choked by smoke. In only two days, all of the buildings and 3,000 people were buried under 10 feet of ash and small rocks. Then it began to rain. The rain mixed with the ash, becoming like wet cement. Bodies were frozen in place forever. In 1709, a man digging a water well discovered the ancient city. Then the Italian government uncovered the ru ruins of Pompeii and turned it into a tourist attraction. Predicting Eruptions There is no accurate way to pre predict when a volcano will blow, but there are certain warning signs that scientists study using special equipment. Scientists who study volcanoes and their activity are, are called volcanologists. A tilt meter measures the swelling of volcanoes, which may mean magma is increasing in the vent and an eruption is close. Seismographs sense underground tremors, which may mean volcanic activity is increasing. Satellites can measure Earth's surface temperature. Right before a volcano erupts, the volcano gets much hotter inside. Volcano Lore There are more than 1,500 potentially active volcanoes on Earth. In 1883, a volcano on the island of Krakatau in Indonesia erupted. The explosion was heard over 3,000 miles away and created huge waves called tsunamis that drowned over 36,000 people. From 1963 to 1967, a volcano formed a new island near Iceland. It was named Surtsey after the Norse god of fire. In, in 1902, Mount Pele in the West Indies erupted a boiling hot cloud of gas out of its side, not its top. Over 30,000 people were killed. 
Energy released by the eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington State in the U.S. was greater than 10 million tons of dynamite. The word, word volcano comes from the name Vulcan, a character in ancient Roman mythology. Can you guess who he was? The God of Fire!